Hey guys and welcome back to Down Under. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing slash setup and a review all in one in this video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the HD Video Capture. And this is a great gaming um, recorder. So if you like recording your gameplay for YouTube, for Twitch, um, like that. But you can't live stream from this. So keep that in mind. You cannot live stream. Also this comes with a built-in video editor. So it does come with a built-in video editor. But there's one little problem with it. It's only for disk um, computers. So... Like my computer, I don't have a disk drive, so I can't actually show you the video editing system with this um, recorder because I don't have a disk drive. So let's get into it. First of all, we'll just tell you the back and what it supports. So it actually supports 1080p, um, 30 frames per second. Hopefully you can see this all right. Um, for 30 frames. And then you've got your output is going to be HDMI and your input is going to be HDMI as well. As well as 3.0 hosting, so right there. Um, so that's basically everything and it's um, 5V slash 2a and that's going to be a power and it supports wii u xbox 360 xbox one ps3 and ps4 also it supports a wide range of other consoles as well so that will work right there and then it's just telling you there's no computer actually required so you actually don't need a computer to use this all you need is a usb drive so all you need is a usb drive um, i would not recommend using a hard drive um, it's just use a usb and as it says here it will record up to 1080p um, in capture as well as you can share it to YouTube as well Twitch or any other gaming services that you can upload videos to this will work perfectly for it again this is no good if you're wanting to stream video it will not work you can only record it and that's basically what you, all you can do and you can add a microphone in which we're going to show you a bit later to see how good the microphone is so let's open it up and see what we're first greeted to now it does say at the back do not uh, record copyrighted content so if you're going to use this to record like netflix it's not allowed so i wouldn't do it they do write at the back not to do this okay so this is um just the quick start guide on basically how to plug the usb in and stuff like that basically oh, okay and this shows you the video editing software as well which sadly we cannot show you about that at all because um i don't have a disk drive so we'll just pull this out. So this is probably going to have all our cables. Now I'm hoping we get an Australian plug because these did come from Amazon China. Will it come off an Australian plug? Let's hope it did. And then you've got the, um, this is the recorder right here. So as you see, HD video capture. This is it right here. Okay, so let's just move all this stuff out of the way. First of all, we'll get into the little box. Now this thing is tiny. Okay, let's have a look. So, at the front of the box, we've got the USB hosting. Then we've got in. This is for audio, by the way. Then you got your mic, so your mic can plug here. And then you got out. Now, one thing I will keep in mind now, I have a little headset here, which we're gonna test out on the Xbox One to see how good the audio is. We're gonna plug in this little clip-on mic right here. And that can just plug in right here. So it does fit, that will fit right there. The fact is, will it be good or is it going to be just dead quiet? I know with the Kaiser Bus, which came out in 2014, I did a review on that. The microphone was so quiet, you couldn't even hear me. So, is this one going to be better? The Kaiser Bus is an Aussie brand. This is a China brand, actually made in Beijing. So, is it going to be any better with the mic? So, we'll have to test it out. Then we've got the back. So, we've got your output right here and your input. And then you've got your um, input here as well, which I think would be in the box right here. Let's take a look what we got in here. Okay, yep, so this is it right here. So this is what I'm talking about. So you can plug this in right here. Instead of using the HDMI input, you can use this input here. When I try to work out how to plug it in. Okay, yep, so you can use those cables right there. Which we will not be using that because not many consoles would support this anyway. Also, you get one HDMI which is um, pretty nifty. What else do we get? Okay, so this is the video editing software. Um, so this we cannot use at all because we don't have a disk drive, which is okay. We have our own um, video editing software. And this is the power supply. Now, as you see, we do have um, the China plugin. Okay, so they did kindly support, which I didn't think they would actually, they did supply this, so we can plug it into Australia. Ports, so that's great, that works perfectly there. So that's everything in the box, so you get this, which is great right here. You get the video editing software, 
one HDMI, so you will need another HDMI to plug into your console as well. You get the power, um, we won't use this, but we are going to use the mic. This is not supported. Uh, well, it doesn't come with it. So if you want to buy these, these are about two bucks on Wish and Amazon. So up to you um, if you want to buy one. We'll see if they're any good first because it may not work at all. What you may want to have to do is have like a secondary recording going on. So sometimes you have to record from your, have a mic going on your computer as well recording this so they're in sync. Um, we'll see how good the audio is with this. Let's see if it's super quiet. Because I don't have a volume control on this exact headset, we may have an issue with volume. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, so that's basically everything there. We'll just look at the um, menu again, see if we missed anything. But I don't think we did. Yeah, see this is just showing you how to um, set up on the PS3. Yeah, that's basically all set up right there. So we don't really need to do much now. So all we have to do now is basically plug this in. So basically what you want to do, plug this into your Xbox or um, PS3 or Wii U, whatever you're plugging this into, then plug this into your TV, okay? So the output must go to your TV or a splitter that will go back to the TV, okay? Um, so keep that in mind as well. And another thing I needed, to, I'll tell you just before we um, get over to setting it up, is um, when you hit record and you plugged everything in and you're going, it's not recording. What you have to do before that, you've got to wait up to 60 seconds before you can hit record. So you do need to keep this in mind, 60 seconds, because um, it won't record. It just will stay green, won't record at all. So just wait 60 seconds, then if it's still not working, maybe try another USB. If it's still not working, um, I would recommend contacting them, but it should work um, 60 seconds after. And we'll show you what I'm talking about um, as soon as we've set this up to the Xbox One, we'll show you just what to do. Hey guys, so now we're going to just plug it all in. So one thing you will need, minimum requirement, you need a 4 gigabyte USB. Now I have a 8 right here, so this will work, 8 gigabyte. Now keep in mind, in 20 minutes, it can use up to 2 gig. Um, so just 20 minutes will use up to 2 gigabytes, okay? So keep that in mind, so you just want to plug that into this area. Then um, you want to plug, this is the Xbox cable. So you're going to want to plug the Xbox cable. Actually, this one's the Xbox cable, sorry about that. This wants to go into the in, okay? And then the projector cable, you want to go into the out. So plug that into the output right there. And then you're just going to want to plug in the power right here. And we should have a picture. We should get a picture. Okay, we've got a picture coming up on the Xbox. So now what we're going to show you is just show you how you know if you're recording. So basically, all you can see at the moment is a green little light. So when you hit record, it will go red. Now we'll just hit that again, just to check. And there you go. It's now red, so that's currently recording right now. Um, so they'll be recording gameplay. So we'll just end that. And now we're going to show you what it looks like, the full gameplay, how clear it is. So this should record at 1080p at 30 frames per second. Um, it would be good if it was 60, but it's 30 frames, so we'll have to just deal with that. And now let's go have a look at it and see how good the resolution is. Hey guys, so we're going to show you a quick gameplay in the background. Now one annoying thing that you guys may be annoyed with is the microphone I showed you later in the video is couldn't hear anything. I'm actually screaming it practically right now. Nothing. Then when I put it in the input, absolutely nothing. So it's either it doesn't work or it's wanting a powered mic. Now that's possible, it's wanting a powered mic. I don't have a powered mic, so I can't actually show you that. Um, so sadly I can't show a powered mic working on that. But the output, that works absolutely great. When you plug a headset into it, it you can hear the sound. It's amazing, the sound. It sounds great. Um, there's nothing wrong with the output. Um, so when you put, you can either plug with the output, out um, area you need to plug a headset in so that's what I did to see how it sounds now you don't have to hit record to actually hear that now before you hit record and how you would know the mic is working is when you talk into the mic put that into the input or put it into the mic port and while you've got a headset on you'd be able to hear the audio but there was nothing and then when I hit record absolutely nothing so through this whole gameplay there's actually a recording and I was speaking really loud by the way actually really loud um, and you can actually hear absolutely nothing um, all you can hear is the gameplay, so that's all you're going to hear in the background, sadly. But all in all, except for the mic not working, the output works fine. Um, the picture looks absolutely great. It actually looks higher than 30 frames per second. 
Um, it just looks really good. So if you want to use this for YouTube or your Twitch, and you want to have high quality videos, I would highly recommend this. But it is $70, so that's how much this um, capture card does cost, $70. Um, so the fact is, do you want to spend that sort of money? If you're comparing this to like a Kaiser bus, I would reckon this is a lot better because I had a Kaiser bus and it just recently just died on me. And it wasn't good. Why I didn't like it is if you accidentally opened Netflix up on over on the Xbox, the recording will stop. With this, it will keep on recording. It will just won't show any picture on the Netflix. Just won't show any trailers. You'll hear the audio in the background, just the picture will go black. So I'm glad it doesn't stop the recording like the Kaiser bus because that was so annoying how it stopped the recording. But all in all, um, the experience with it, I've only been mucking around with it for about 30 minutes. It's been wonderful and great. And another thing that I will mention about the mic port before we end the video is I was playing some really loud music from my um, phone and plugged that in with the aux port and nothing. So I put that in the mic port and I put that in the in port and you actually hear nothing. So the fact is, what sort of mic do you need to plug into that? Because there's still no um, sound at all, nothing. You hear a little bit of uh, like the pixelation noise, but you don't really hear anything. You don't hear, I was playing the video, a uh, music song, really loud, full volume, nothing. You don't hear any of that through the recorder. So I'm not sure why that is. It might work on the jack. I think the jack... And I think the jack would have three little black circles. I thought, yeah, that'd be the issue because the other mic I had and had two little black circles. But that's not the case. I tried three little jack uh, um, with the circles at the end and still no audio at all. So I'm not sure what the issue is with that. Um, I'm guessing you're going to need a powered mic. But then again, when I plugged my phone in um, and had full audio and plugged into the mic in the input, it should have at least heard something. Absolutely nothing there. So I heard none of my phone audio, so that's a bit weird. I could not work that out. I mucked around that for a few minutes before ending this um, clip here, but still couldn't work it out. So that's one annoying thing. If you are going to want to do um, voiceovers within your gameplay, that may be a little issue that you may need to work out. But apart from that, this is perfect because you can just plug a headset in. We'll catch you guys in the next Everything video. Works Thanks perfect, again for watching. Except the mic. So my recommendations if you're doing a mic. Have a recording going on the um, computer, so for your mic, so hit record the exact same time on the computer and with the um, game recorder, that way the audio will be in sync. Of course you are going to need an editing system. Now again, I don't know how good the editing system is with this recorder, because I can't actually test it out, but then again, um, let us know if this video helped you guys out at all. I'm hoping I gave you a lot of information about this device. and. If you have any questions at all and you want me to look into certain things, let us know as well. And um, thanks again for um, watching today's video.